Uni and Jack has time now. Carol Malone, your nominee. OK, mine's Portuguese athlete Ricardo dos Santos. People may remember him. Two years ago, he accused the police with his girlfriend, Bianca Williams, of racial profiling. He was pulled over by cops at the weekend, or the cops tried to pull him over. They didn't know it was him in the car, but they pulled the car because they thought they saw someone on the <coughs> phone. He would not stop, so they had the, flash, the lights flashing. You can see it here. They, then the police called for backup because they didn't know what was happening. If someone doesn't stop, th this alerts their suspicions. They kept on chasing him for a full five minutes, pulled in front of him. He wouldn't stop. He overtook them. Uh, and when he stopped, he accused them yet again of the racial... He wasn't on the phone as it happened, but, you know, the copper had a, a truncheon ready because he didn't know what was going to meet him inside that car. He didn't know if the person inside was drunk, drugged, had weapons, whatever. Uh, he's saying they were heavily armed. Well, a truncheon is not heavily armed. But the bottom line is, you know, when the cops put the lights on and say stop, I don't care who you are or who you think you are, you stop. You're not immune to the, to the rules that apply to the rest of us. And Carol, this is the problem, isn't it, with woke policing? Yeah. Because you've got folk like him who are so prepared to call out officers yeah. simply for doing their job that it makes them afraid to do Dan, their job. I heard four coppers, four ex-coppers on the phone today saying what that copper did today, bringing his truncheon to the window, was absolute police procedure because you don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Remember we saw this with Dawn Butler, too, yeah. the Labour MP, yeah. who tried to claim she had been racially profiled when, in fact, she was driving in a car with tinted windows. Yes. It's lunacy. Exactly. Sam Dalla, your union jackass nominee. It's Boris Johnson. I'm oh. like to keep a theme going here. On oh, yeah. Holiday, Predictable uh, as ever, Sam. On, <laughs> <laughs> on holiday again, he's a Prime Minister in absentia. Did you, can he's, I just ask, Sam, did you have an issue with Keir Starmer going on holiday last week? He's he just went, been... He came back with results, though, didn't he? And, no and, results. And an answer to the problem. With an unworkable Boris, policy. Boris, okay, Boris, so, Boris so, Johnson is, is, as I just said, he's a Prime Minister in absentia. He's doing nothing. He insisted on remaining. Okay, so just to be clear, this is a totally partisan nomination. It's fine for Keir Starmer to go on holiday, but it's not okay for Boris to go on holiday. Just, just wanted to get that on the record. When he came back, Boris just said anything. wanted Boris to get has, that on the record. Has Boris Sam. said anything about helping our country at all in the last like month? Oh, Sam, Sam I'm sorry. Policy. Can you imagine what the left would say if Boris tried to institute policy at anything, the moment? He's a anything would be nice. Minister. We're getting nothing right now. We, we have we have literally a government. Well, Sam, that that's is, what is, happens when you boot out a prime minister. Exactly. Sam, Belinda De Lucy, exactly. your uh -huh. union jackass nominee. This is one of the assiest asses I have ever ever nominated <laughs> in my life before. It is the broadcaster. James O'Brien, and he gets it good and hard this week because <laughs> right. he made an awful comment while sitting on his very generous ass and, and vomiting <laughs> should, his Belinda, shall we summary. have a little look at the, at, at the said Please, clip and I'll get you to respond off the back? It's more exhausting than manual labour than your job is, if you're listening to me on a building site now, as long as no one's put a brick through the radio yet. You could not do what I do for, three, for eight hours a day but you can do manual labour for eight hours a day. And, and let's just say that we'd be equally tired at the end of the shift. What oh. a cretinous, arrogant so-and-so. And Belinda De Lucy, do you know what I'm actually so delighted about yeah. with that moment? He has exposed himself. Oh, it's wonderful. This and, is a man and, 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 on over and 300 And people should year. just start switching off, Belinda, <laughs> yes, right? I hope so. It was atrocious, but very revealing. And you've got these manual labourers on, like, £11.90 <laughs> an hour. He's sitting on three. Carol, quickly, what do you think? The thing with O'Brien, though, he tries to intellectually defeat yeah. the people who and, come and on to his, his He death. tries to humiliate he them does. with his intellect, he does. Death. which is well, look, very... It's got to be James O'Brien. Yes, Tonight's yes. Union Jackass. A clear win for Belinda De Lucy, Belinda, <laughs> so great to have you back.